These things inside of us want us to remember. Two blissful seasons of the Order series, and we can't help but want more of the supernatural drama. When the series arrived in March 2019, the expectations were quite low, but they certainly blew our minds out. And the best thing happened when they renewed the series for a second season. The second season dropped in the summer of 2020, but it doesn't look like things are getting bright for the Order series. The show's creator and writer, Dennis Heaton, took to his Twitter to announce that the show won't be returning for a third season. Today, we're looking at the reasons why The Order Season 3 won't happen. First, a few days after Emery Kea tweeted, looks like Netflix's The Order might be canceled, the show's creator, Dennis Heaton, wrote via his Twitter, for two seasons I was honored to work with an incredible cast and crew on The Order for Netflix. It is one of the best experiences of my career. Unfortunately, we aren't returning, but I will always cherish the memories and the props I stole. Thank you all for watching. This news had the fans shaken, and a lot of them share their disappointment at the news. Some of the show's cast and crew members also thanked the viewers and shared their tributes via their social media pages. Loriza Tronco, who played Gabrielle, tweeted, I had an absolute blast playing Gabrielle. Thank you to the cast, crew, and most of all to the fans for a magical two seasons. Really wish we could have continued that magic. Love you guys and thank you for being a part of the journey. While they were paying their tributes, the fans were not ready to say goodbye. They quickly created a petition which read, The order was canceled very recently. Our goal is to have the show renewed for at least the third season. We deserve a proper ending. Please sign and help us save another show sacrificed by Netflix. Unfortunately, Jack Morton's adventures have come to an end and the fans will simply have to make do with its first two seasons. Next is, the show's creator did not give an exact reason as to why the show will not be renewed for its third season. And the streaming giant, Netflix, is no help either. Netflix is pretty secretive about why they keep shows and why they cancel other shows. The the streaming giant usually gives shows two seasons to prove their worth. That is, a show gets two seasons to gather its audience and have a reasonable amount of viewers to keep them on. Although The Order was an amazing supernatural drama, I think we have had enough of werewolf shows for this generation. Not so many people streamed the show's first and second seasons. The possible reason for the cancellation of the show is the series did not have a large enough audience to keep them going. A Netflix representative reported that it is a better investment for Netflix to pick up a new project and try that, then commit to a series that might not be performing well with the viewers. And he also added that Netflix does not think that the shows with low viewership will gain new audiences after a few seasons. Although it is quite sad that the order won't be renewed, it's just business as usual for Netflix. Up next, fans who have seen the second season are very much aware of how it ended. The second season definitely left the show on a cliffhanger, and the fans need more episodes to reveal what happens next. Here's a recap of how it ended. The Order had death insights on its ending plans and, for a show about magic and deaths, would probably just happen to keep the fans in the dark. Right after Alyssa and Jack said their goodbyes, Alyssa got stopped by Midnight, who had possessed Gabrielle on her way out, before Jack could come to her aid. Midnight already slit Alyssa's throat and she died shortly after. Now just before the curtains dropped, Jack begged Alyssa to give Vera back her powers, and he was taking her to the forest with a spellbook. Before the cancellation, Dennis Heaton hinted at how the show could return if Netflix renewed the third season. He said, Will we come in the same way we did this season, very close after the events of the end of the first season? Or we might do a time jump and come into an entirely different kind of world? Well, now that Netflix has announced the cancellation of the series, we may not get to see the way the show plays out till the end. Up next, although the series has been canceled, there may still be some hope for the fans. The streaming giant put Lucifer on the waiting list for its fifth season renewal, but they eventually renewed that show, so it isn't an option to rule out at this point. But the main question is if the show gets a chance for a third season, what would it be about? Will it be centered on Alyssa's death, or will Alyssa be brought back to life? Here is what we know. After the show's creator, Dennis Heaton, took to his page to announce the cancellation of the series, he followed it up with a bit of consolation for fans about where the story could have headed next. He tweeted, P.S. Jack was totally going to raise Alyssa from the dead, but she she 
was going to come back wrong, like Pet Cemetery wrong, probably possessed by Zekia, and a whole bunch of other corpses were coming back with her. Dennis Heaton also had some high hopes for the third and fourth season. He once told TV Goodness in an interview, as for what season three will hold, I would say we are going straight to hell. I don't know if this is season three or four, but I think some kind of judgment day or day of reckoning will have to happen at some point. Up next is, it will do us some good to know the characters that may have given life to the third season if it was renewed. Sarah Gray, who played Alyssa, had a rough time at the end of the second season when she had her throat slit by Gabrielle, who was possessed by Midnight. If it was any other world, that would definitely be the end of the road for Alyssa. But this is a horror, magical drama, and we might as well prepare for a rebirth of Alyssa's character if the show is renewed. Other characters will also be returning, like Jack Morton, Vera Stone, Randall Carpio, Lilith Bathory, Nicole Birch, Gabrielle Derpey, Hamish Duke, and many more. We have heard the name Alpha, the sixth werewolf, and the leader of the Knights of St. Christopher, but a face has not been placed on the character of the show. There is a possibility that we will get to see him if there is a third season. There might also be a couple of guest stars. And during Comic-Con, Devery Jacobs revealed that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez would likely be on the third season of The Order, and Chad Oakes may also be making an appearance as he hinted that while he was on a live interview. Up next, at the time the second season ended, Vera was one of the loose threads left hanging. She was left without her powers, and Jack was doing all he could to get the dying Alyssa to restore Vera's powers. The last we saw, Vera was completely powerless. The actress who portrayed Vera, Catherine Isabel, said in an interview, Vera is probably going to have to rely on Hamish a lot going forward, and now that her magic is gone, the people around her will be vital to her survival. She is going to have to play a very smart game. Maybe she has to go on the run. But with the confidence in which Isabel spoke at her interview, Vera will definitely find a way to regain her magical powers. No matter what, Vera will stop at nothing to get her power back. It is her life, she said. Next up, the final episode of the second season also left Jack on a quest to try and raise Alyssa back from the dead. In an interview, Jake Manley talked about his hope for his character in a third season. He said, I know Jack's biggest focus will be doing whatever he can to bring Alyssa back. To do this, I think he is going to need help from people he does not necessarily want to associate with or work with. I also think if it is possible to bring Alyssa back, there is going to be a huge cost to it. It will be very interesting to see what that cost brings about. It is no shock to us that Jack may commit his whole act in a third season season to try and raise Alyssa from the dead. He was also too attached to her to let her die easily. Up next, the show's creator may still have some cards to play to save the show. Although Netflix may not be giving The Order a third chance for its renewal, there are a couple of things that could happen for fans to get the ending they deserve. The show may get picked up by another streaming network as thousands of fans have signed petitions to bring back the show to their screens. Or Dennis Heaton may tender a convincing plea and a better strategy to promote the series series to the streaming giant Netflix. And if all that does not work, he could do what fans suggested. A fan commented under his tweet saying, please tell us everything. Write a novel continuing their adventures. Hell, send me the plot line and I'll write the novel. A novel wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. There are the options available to save the series, or we are stuck with just two seasons forever. Thank you for watching this far. That is a wrap for today's video. Make sure you stick around for more exciting content on our channel.